place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. We are back on the water, guys, or we're getting yay. ready to. <laughs> um, we were able to finally get out of our backyard. Uh, we still have a few more things to button up, but we are back on the water, and we wanted to do a really quick trip because we've just been constantly working on DIY projects, and we're kind of stuck at home for the last month and a half. I don't know how long, but... <laughs> we're due for a Yeah, trip. We're, we're not used to staying home that long, but... We're just getting ready to launch. It's kind of a slow day. There's not too much people on the water right now. So it's looking good. We're just getting prepped here. We're just getting set up, getting the straps out, all, uh, making sure the plug's in, all of our checks. Really quick, we wanted to just go through an update with the Gator Shield, guys. So far, it's been holding up really nice. Let's see if you guys can see that. It's been holding up real well. We probably just need to, let's see. No, it looks really good. We're gonna be trying to find a beach spot again over here and we're gonna see how this goes. But yeah, this does really well when we're beaching it. It doesn't, you know, mess up the bottom of the hull or anything. So this is just our year follow up. I definitely recommend you guys put this on your boat for sure if you guys are gonna beach it a lot. Um, Cause sometimes when the, well now that the water levels are low, you can start seeing rocks and stuff now. And then there's one more thing that we added. Um, and, and one more thing that we need to upgrade. So this little, this is from Gator Shield as well. We're not really liking it. We oh, do well, want to replace this. I so, think we just need to secure this better. Yeah, so basically I didn't want to permanently uh, mount it on yet. Yeah. So Because I had to shave it so it matches the body line. Uh -huh. So I went ahead and just uh, double side tape for temporary. At least it's not scratching yeah, this, because this thing, this is the OEM one, this is what came sucks. with the trailer, and it's, it's like, just constantly scratching. One of the viewers did recommend us get the Stoles, uh, it's an orange one. It's like a one. polyurethane. Yeah, and it rolls together with the boat or something, so we're definitely going to switch that out. So when we upgrade this, I was thinking about making a bracket, Make it, making one down here. Okay. So that way it, it has, uh, it disperses more of the weight. Alright, cool. Yeah, so this is just another some, DIY for you guys. And there's <laughs> one more product we want to show you show you guys today. So this is just kind of a video. So yeah, this is just kind of a video of what products we use for the boat. We did upgrade our fenders. So once we get in the water, we're gonna get show you guys what we got. Other than that, the Gator Shield guard thing is up to the bottom of the holes, uh, holding up real well. This guard is pretty cool. It's not scratching, and definitely we need to upgrade that for sure. So we're just gonna get launched here. Get ready and then we'll show you guys those fenders that we got and we'll see how those work out. The water levels are still a little low. Not as high as I'm used to seeing it. But we're back on the water. I'm just glad to be back out on the road again or in the water anywhere. Thirst, a hunger, pain, and thirst Just find whatever you got in 
volatility of like my own oh, All right, we just uh, finished wakeboarding and we were just chilling for a little bit. We are heading in to pick up some, our cousins. So I want to show you guys these fenders. So these mission fenders are like a lot slicker. Here's the our dock line. Let me get that all out. These, so here's the fender. We got two of these. So we kind of bunched up these cords because you're supposed to wrap these cords around into the, the hook lines over here. But we ended up putting one of these Danny hooks on here so that's more convenient so I don't have to keep messing with this rope. But I believe the way you're supposed to use this is that once you have it tucked in, you push it down to lock it. But we did this instead. That way I can just hook it on. It's faster. Not that it wasn't fast before, but this is just our solution. So I'll put these on now. And let me get the other one. The other one's stored up here, right? Where's the other one? Uh, right here. one because we know we need one in the front and the rear all right this one's prepped a lot a little bit different the lines are out and it's just gonna go like this right yeah because we do need it a little longer let's check this out look at that highly recommend this guys the sand is pretty soft here but you can see all these shells so like again highly highly recommend getting one of those installed down there Hey guys, it's the morning of and we're getting ready to leave. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update again. So we're out of the water, obviously. And here's a better view of the gator guard. So it looks like some of the glue is just chipping a little bit. But I mean, that's just the glue. It's still on here oh. pretty securely, I think. No, this is, gonna... um, so this is a, uh, a sealer. Um, oh, okay. It's an automotive sealer that I use at work. Oh, so Kevin added additional on top yeah. of this. Oh, okay. So, so you don't have that, to put this, but I just did it. That was optional, so we did that. And then later it's easy to come off, so like I okay. can clean it. But other than that, like this is pretty secure. Yeah, it hasn't yeah. moved whatsoever. It looks pretty good. And we beached it like really hard yesterday. Too. Yeah. I freaking gunned right into it. <laughs> I don't think I got a video of the second one, but yeah, no, this is perfect. Like I know there's a lot of people that don't want to beach. But if you this provides a little bit extra security for the bottom of your hole. But that's it, guys. We just wanted to see uh, update you guys on how the Gator Guard Shield has been working for us, and it's been working really well. Now that we're back on the water, we do have clips, plenty of trips planned because now we can get out of our backyard. <laughs> right. So uh, just thanks for following along as always, guys. We appreciate you guys as always. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you for supporting and have a great day.